Welcome to Trading Lounge and the S&P 500 for the 16th of September. So starting with the four hour chart here, we've been looking at the whole move up here as a corrective rally uh, in terms of an A wave here, an A, B, C, D and E here for wave B and then one and two and three and four and five up here for wave C of B. So there can be a top in place here. And um, as I mentioned before, we would just naturally expect the market to rest a little bit now that it's arrived at the uh, 3000. So it's kind of like a psychological finishing line. So um, we're not expecting it to go anywhere uh, too soon, but um, we do need to look for setups either long. Um, if I'm wrong with this count or short. So for the short ones, we can look at um, well, first of all, we need the 3000 as a retested resistance. So currently it, it's at support here at the moment, isn't it? So um, what we need to see is we need to see the market. It would normally come down and bounce off the level and go back up and then come through. So once it creates that first low below the level, then you can look to short it at that point. And there's also two when you get that little rally in back into that um, 3000 there that will be in three waves so you could also look to um, so the market would move down move up like that in three waves to that 3000 so you could also draw a line through there as well or even just take the second low on the short here as well that rally back into the 3000 will be on lower volume than the previous move down sometimes you can't see that so you need to flick up to the next time frame to have a look at that. Um, yeah, so the short side it would be that. Also want to point out to that um, I've got a more bullish count here. So from this low here, we can look at this in a couple of different ways. But the main point is from this particular low here, we could also count this up as one and two here, then one and two here, and then three and four and five here. So then that would make this one here a corrective move back to the wave four of one lesser degree here, and then a move up higher from that point. So as I mentioned a few times last week, we would need the 2950 as a retested resistance to be able to call the market lower down at this point here because the 38.2% retracement level of blue wave three here comes also also back to um, to the, this level here. So um, we can just see Asia's opened here down further so that um, we'll see the market retest that gap and that 3000 at that point. So wave force typically break the trend line anyway. So that's what you'd always expect wave force to break any trend lines moving up. So this becomes interesting now because this market will try and retest that space here. So this low that I was talking about here becomes the low here to be able to short at that particular point in time. But I'll go to the hourly chart. I mean, even when you short, as I mentioned, the 2950 area here or the way for one lesser degree is the critical sort of point here. So if you are shorting down here, look to take lock in some profit uh, down here or even just get out and we can look to move back in over this side. And the same thing would be for this side here too in terms of uh, going short, we would see the arrival, would see a bounce in three waves here, and then would see a five wave move down through here, and then would see something like that, and then would see a move down. So these become the catalysts at that point for triggers. So let's just look at it, the hourly chart. So a nice clean break uh, from that point. So um, as I would have mentioned last time with this uh, up here, if the top of group one, 3000 is a major trading level, and then we've got uh, 10, 20 and 30. So if 30 here becomes the support for whatever reason, a tested support, we can go along from that point because we know that the market will be leaving the this 3000 at that point and working higher from from there so um the short side yes yeah, so 
just on this one here where we can set up trades is that uh, just having a look at that we don't need that one there for a moment let's just look at this for a second I mean if it doesn't cover the gap now it's got to come back and do it later so there's the 61.8 percent up here for that so the market can move back up to that point there so just be mindful um, of that and the short trade we can borrow this we don't need that now so we can move that and we could put that um, over here and if this market here as I mentioned just a little while ago it moves up in th three waves here then you can also look to short from that from this low and the second low here just draw a line across and and have that there as a trigger on the short side as well so i don't really need to say much more than that at this stage um so we can go long if this high gets breached here now i mean i had it up here but you can get one position here so we'll do that we'll just copy that and I'll just put it as a thin line here. Oops. Just a thin line. So, yeah, just be mindful of that gap. That's where the 50-60% retracement level is. And then we can look to short, you know, even this low here can come in on this one here. You may, it may end up being closer than that. Um, yeah. But just be careful too, you know, that... When you're around large numbers, you get a lot of vibration around the large numbers. So we really need to be clear that we're in the next trend. So this is what we use group 1, 4, 10, 20, and 30. If 30 is found as support, then we know that the that, that we're leaving the 3,000 and we'll be going up to the next level, which would be the midpoint, the 5. So we're just using Fibonacci as a price ratio, 1, 2, 3, 5, and 8. Um, but also group two here as well. So group one, group two here, 65, 72, and 80, their job is to hold the market to the closest largest number. So if this becomes the resistance, then we're on the downside from that point. If this becomes support, then we're on the upside from that point. So bear that in mind. This is probably five waves down here now at this point. So that's why we'll look for that retracement level area there. All right, I'll just leave it at that. I don't really need to go into much more. We kind of know the bigger picture of things. So, yeah, all righty. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the support. Cheers.